I'm here with Elvis, a senior football coach from Europe, and just having a meeting in Bangalore on the importance of nutrition for footballers. So, hi Elvis, uh, good evening. And, um, you know, I, I'm convincing a lot of parents how the Indian player needs diet, nutrition, you know, dal, chawal, roti. You live in Europe, you train people in Europe, you've been there for quite some time. Uh, what's your viewpoint when an Indian comes across the ocean to Europe or America to play? Uh, what do you see lacking and why is nutrition important? Wow, Ryan, where can I begin? Okay, let me start saying this. In the recent past, about two years ago, we started an, um, a program, an academy program for Indian boys uh, to come to Portugal, get engaged in, in all aspects, not only just football training, but complete whole aspect. And then I'll put it this way to you. The program is three personal training sessions, two individual fitness training sessions, four team training sessions, and one game on a Sunday. This is one week of training. One week of training. Now imagine that this is what Europeans do day in and day out for seven to eight months. That's the season. Now when we get an Indian boy, now imagine a kid who is never had a very strong meat diet or a pasta diet the struggles we have are they are injured every other week because the muscles just cannot take the load what is required and are they picky eaters or funny eaters when they come across to europe well it's it's a very difficult one to answer because they want to eat everything they want to change and in fact uh, the change is what we have done and one of these days i'll share you the data and ex uh, exact numbers of these individuals the body fat when they came to us is in the higher teens, 17, 18 percent. Their, their, their muscle is absolutely non-existent. After four or five months being with us, we reduce their body fat to, I would say, 10 to 11 percent, sometimes even 9. And more than that, their upper body strength, lower body strength, their girth measurements, their chest, pectorials, biceps, triceps, all increases. So would you say that parents need to teach their children to eat for sports at a younger age rather than waiting when they are 16, 17 years of age? I, I mean, I, I would like to scream at the top of my lungs and say that absolutely correct. They have to. Without that, there is no change. I mean, if you do not start at, I mean, first of all, we want to see at the genetics of the parents. Many of these kids that came to us in the past, about three of them were pure vegetarians. Of course, in Europe you're going to struggle because we do not have the kind of luxury of different vegetarian meals. So we struggle with them. So it is very imperative that they start very early on a non-veg diet and a balanced diet. So that means when they are 17 or when, when they come to us, they're 15 and 16 years of age. They need to be fully ready because in Europe, if you're not a football player, by the time you're 19, you're done. You need to come and play over here or you need to go somewhere else. So it's very important that they start early. Thank you so much, Elvis. Thank Thanks, you. Sir. So